Pat Maloney, singer-songwriter, brought his folk music to the sanctuary to promote his debut album, Root Rock. He's playing songs like Bruce County Power Trip, Three for the Money, and Thanks for Everything. Maloney's passion for music started at a young age and has played a variety of different music genres. Um, I've been a musician my whole life. I played piano when I was young and sang in choirs and that kind of thing, some more uh, classically trained stuff. And then got a drum set when I was 12 and started playing in punk bands and hardcore bands, ska stuff and, and that. And uh, I did that for years, playing in all kinds of different stuff, country bands and soul bands and hip hop bands, all kinds of stuff. And then I got an acoustic guitar a couple years ago and started writing what I'm doing now. I'm inspired by, uh, um, I don't know, it's, uh, it's kind of a crazy mixed up world we live in. There's, there's a lot of, uh, it's a really important time in history, so I'm just trying to kind of get a grip on, on what's happening around us and try and write about stuff that's relevant to our times and try not to just kind of uh, write cliché love songs and stuff like that, but, but write stuff that means something to me. To date, the Ottawa-born musician has made three music videos. Blood on the Mat, Jump the Fence, and Mostra Della Rosa. In addition to writing, Maloney also produced his first record. I produced the records myself. Uh, the, my first and only album out called Root Rot was produced by me, um, but with a friendly engineer that I've known for years. I was recorded in London at Emacs Studio. Yeah, I'm kind of always on tour. <laughs> uh, I've done about 160 shows this year so far. Um, I just got back from England on tour for three weeks, and I was in France before that for five days. Uh, well, th for this stuff, it's pretty folky, singer-songwriter kind of stuff, so um, there's a lot of contemporaries in my neighborhood that I play with a lot. Uh, I play with Craig Cardiff quite a bit. Uh, he's a Juno-nominated singer-songwriter, as well as Peter Katz is another Juno-nominated singer-songwriter of Ontario. Um, and then, like, I don't know, a lot of classic rock stuff and, and traditional kind of folky stuff, you know, all the, all the, all the regulars. Uh, Neil Young and Bob Dylan, especially at the top of the list. The folk singer explains how he broke out of his shell and went solo. Doing this is very new to me. Like I was a drummer for so long that I got so comfortable on playing drums. I could play in front of a huge festival stadium kind of thing and not feel the nerves. Uh, but that took time, you know, and, and I felt it when I started doing this on my own, playing guitar and singing in front of people. I didn't have drums in front of me as like a security blanket, so all of a sudden I was nervous again which was cool because I was uh, maybe getting a little too comfortable where I was at. So you gotta, I'm just pushing myself forward into something out of my comfort zone. Uh, it's on iTunes, you can buy it there. Uh, you can find it on my website at patmaloney.ca. Uh, coming to the shows is the best way to do it. Um, so I've got CDs and t-shirts and that kind of thing for sale. And uh, you can find it on Pandora and RDO and just about all the online streaming sites too. <laughs> Thank you very much. For Spoke Online, I'm Cole Froud.